Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at customizing the login page in Niagara. Uh, and specifically, we're going to be looking at after Niagara 410U4 and after 412. Niagara made some security changes uh, with these releases and above uh, for how files are accessed from the login page. So you need to take uh, a couple things in mind now that you didn't before, and we're going to go over those as well as just the general uh, customization of the login page. So after 4.10U4 and 4.12U1, the login page no longer has access to your station's files. So previously the method would have been drag an image into your file section of your station, link that up, and have that displayed on your login page. Now, your login page doesn't have access to any of the, the files that are in your station. Uh, the files have to live in the protected station home. This is uh, one level above uh, what your files uh, that are in the station are at. Um, and I'll show you what that, that looks like actually um, here in a moment. And you can access this via the file transfer client or Windows Explorer, depending on if you're using a supervisor or a JACE. The other thing to make note of is this is a breaking change. So if you upgrade uh, any stations to these versions and you had uh, your login page customized previously, you'll see a red box um, on your login page saying that the image couldn't be loaded. Uh, and this is the reason why, and I'll, I'll give you an example of that here in a bit as well. So what is the protected station home? Your regular station home is going to be from just a, a regular file perspective. You know, if you're using Windows File Explorer, it's going to be your station name and then the shared folder underneath the station. And when we're in Niagara, our ORD representation of that is just going to be file and then a tick. The protected station home is just this station directory. And the order representation of that is our file and then two ticks. Tritium recommends that we actually create an additional folder underneath our protected station home called uh, public. And we put all of our files in there. So just a visual representation, because uh, I know it's a little bit easier for me to wrap my head around it this way. Uh, I'm in my daemon home of my 412 install, and I'm just in the directory for the station that I'm talking about. This directory is going to be our protected station home, and then our normal station home is going to be the shared directory underneath. That's what we, all of the files in there are what we typically see in the file section of the station. And then this public folder is a new folder that I created. Um, that is going to be where we keep our assets, uh, our protected station assets, if you want to call it that. So where the logo is going to live. And if you're doing any CSS customization that we'll talk about in a minute, um, that will go in there as well. So what kind of customizations uh, can we do if we just look at, at this um, login customization broadly? Uh, we can change the logo. Uh, that's as simple as adding in an ORD slot on your web service and naming it logo, and then you link that uh, ORD slot to your file, keeping in mind that you need to use your protected station home to do that. So you're going to do file, and then two ticks, uh, and then your file name. You're not going to be able to use the uh, typical file picker for that, uh, so just keep that in mind. And then if you want to change the styling of the login page, you also have that ability. Uh, and this that works the same way. You're going to add a ORD slot to your web service. And this time we're going to call it login CSS. And then we're going to link our CSS file uh, to that slot. And that also is coming from our protected station home. And then uh, I just added some resources in here at the end. Uh, we have the doc developer module. This goes into a little bit more detail about uh, the kinds of customizations you can do CSS wise. And if you're not familiar, uh, opening up this module uh, URL, when you're in Niagara, if you just do a control L and then you can paste this uh, URL in and uh, it'll take you to the right place. Otherwise, you can just open up doc developer's uh, documentation and find it in there. 
And then there's also this uh, write-up that Tritium did on customization, specifically related to the kinds of things that we're talking about right now. Um, that's also helpful. So now let's jump into Niagara and take a look at what we're talking about. Okay, so I'm in Niagara. I'm in my uh, logged into my station, and I just want to show you the way that we would have done this previously. Uh, I'm in my web service, and you can see I have this logo slot, and I'm just linking it to a, a PNG that I've got underneath my files here, PX, images, and then I've got this splash.png. This is the previous way that would have been done, and I'm just assuming that you upgraded to 4.12 like I did and found this issue, and this is how it'll come up for you. You'll go into your station, and you'll just see this custom logo with a broken image at the top. Um, and then you've got to do a little bit of research. Well, what happened? This was working before I upgraded, and now it's broken. What's the deal? Uh, and as we talked about, that's because we need to use this protected uh, station home. All right, and now we're going to fix that by moving this file into our protected station home. So if I pull up Windows Explorer, and you can see I'm in my daemon home. If I go into my stations, and this is our protected station home, and I, ha I created this public directory. And I have this login logo that I want to use uh, instead of the splash, actually. So what I'm going to do here is, first thing is I'm going to do a, another tick. I'll make this uh, public. And then I already forget what the name of that was. I'm going to call it login logo. Login logo.png, save. And an important thing to make note of is when you make these changes, you have to reset your web server. Your initial thought might be, okay, I go to the web service, right-click actions. Not there. You have to go down to the Jetty web server, right-click actions, restart. And now if I go back to Chrome and I refresh, now my new logo is there. So, okay, what if I want to make some changes to the uh, CSS that we're looking at here? Uh, I also, in this public directory, have this BP style uh, file, and I'll just open it real quick in uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, if you're not familiar, it's just a text editor that has a lot of functionality uh, for doing this kind of code writing. So, uh, very, very simple uh, set of styling tweaks that I'm doing here. Um, I'm editing the body, I'm setting a color, but actually what I'm doing is setting an image, and you'll see what that is. This is actually an SVG, like repeated uh, background image. And then I'm just making some slight customizations to the uh, container that the login form is located in. Uh, because it's transparent by default. So I want to set a, a solid color so you can actually read the text uh, against this background that I'm adding. So we'll go back into our web service property sheet, and now I'm going to add in the slot. And if you remember, that slot name was login, capital C, S, S, and then we're going to make that a Baja Ord. And we're going to say OK. And then we're going to go back to the property sheet. And I'm just going to copy this because I'm lazy. And I think the file name was BP style, lowercase s. That's CSS. Save, and we're going to restart the web server, and that restarted. Come back here, give it a refresh, and now you can see I've got a custom background on my login page, custom logo, a slight tweak of the login form box, um, and that's sort of just the tip of the iceberg of the kinds of styling changes that you can make 
here on your login page. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully if you run into that uh, broken image at the bo at the top of the screen on the, on the login page when you've upgraded, now you know what the problem is. Um, and I hope I see you in the next one. Thanks.